Chris, and this is Emily. The end of the year is soon approaching, and everyone is looking forward to next year's classes, except for the seniors, that is. Maya went to class registration to give you more information on what really goes on. All of these students and their parents be in the middle school gym in the middle of the week? It's course registration for the 2000-2001 school year. If you didn't go the 27th of March or the 3rd of April, then listen up. When arriving at promptly 7 o'clock on April 10th, you will pick up a, co a colored sheet depending on your grade for next year. You will then listen to Dr. Forsyth give thorough instructions on how to fill these out, any changes in courses, and things you need to know about signing up for them. If you make one little mistake on, in this process, you may get placed in a class that's not of your interest. When she's done giving directions, you will complete your sheet and, if needed, may talk to a teacher at one of the tables. The tables are marked depending on the course department. At this time, you will get any signatures or ask any questions. When you're completely positive about what you've done, you and your legal guardian will sign it and take it to the counselors to get signed. If you aren't at the middle school at 7 o'clock on April 10th to register for next year, you may not be happy with your schedule. Be there. When you signed up for classes, you may have noticed a few new ones on the list. Another thing that should be up and running by next year is our new renovated auditorium. I snuck around the construction site to see what was going on. This is our auditorium. The last time you saw it, I'm sure it didn't look like this. Our auditorium is just as old as, as the school, but it has had a couple too many concerts, pep rallies, and a lot of other stuff. And if you haven't heard exactly what's going to happen, they're going to upgrade the air conditioning and heating system, hook up state-of-the-art sound and lighting equipment, make acoustic improvements, expand the stage and proscenium, install a sound and light booth and controls, putting in brand new seats, getting new curtains and carpet, Make, and making the seating handicapped accessible. Now, is it all worth it? Yeah, I think that it would, it's a lot better for the school because there's a lot more things we'll be able to do in it now. Even some of the seniors who won't even be able to use it appreciate the renovation. Because when I come back, just to see like different things like homecoming, stuff like that, I want it to look neat and nice. Uh, the, the curtains are in really bad shape. The stage is too small to put, uh, you can barely put our size concert band on it. The middle school band, when they came up here to play, uh, some kids are behind the curtain almost. The total cost for these renovations and endowment is $750,000. $400,000 has been committed by the school district. So as you can see, it is not going to be cheap. But it'll all be worth it as we wait for fall of this year, when we will all be sitting comfortably and enjoying great entertainment in our brand new auditorium. I'm Chris Grebner reporting for WCTV. Thanks for the out with the old and in with the new on the auditorium project, Chris. One of the more delightful things happening each spring is the upcoming golf season. Here's Scott with more on Sports Links. As I promised you on last Sports Links, I would have a golf preview, so I journeyed to the golf course to see what was up. Please keep your arms and legs inside the car at all times, because we're out of here. <laughs> Um, we have some pretty lofty goals for this team. Uh, we're, we hope to win the conference uh, dual meet championship. Uh, we hope to win the conference meet at, at Humboldt and then to go on and qualify for the state meet, which is at Gates Park in Waterloo this year. Uh, we look to have a good season right now. Senior leadership is playing a huge role as they look to improve on many second place finishes last year. Here's Mrs. Mowry with more on the girls. We're a little shy on depth. Um, we drop up pretty fast, but those kids are working hard. This concludes our magical tour of the golf teams. Enjoy the season and visit your local sports links often. I'm out of here.
Well, there you go. That's all we have for this week. Have a good day. See you next time.